Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiadal algebra problem. So here we have a minus 10 to the power of 4 equals to 10 to the power of 4 and we solve this problem for the values of a. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is first uh, we rewrite this equation as in this form. Uh, so here uh, we just uh, 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 break the exponent and it will, it will be written as a minus 10 square and its whole square equals to we write this 10 to the power 4 as 10 square and its whole square so now further in the next step uh, we just uh, move uh, 10 square and its whole square in the left hand side and it will be written as a minus 10 square and its whole square minus 10 square and its whole square equals to 0 and here we can apply the nice algebraic formula you know about this formula if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this formula we uh, will write our above equation as in this form so first we have a minus b here our a is a minus 10 whole square and b is this 10 square uh, so it will be written as a minus 10 square minus 10 square uh, into we have a plus b again our a is a minus 10 square and plus 10 square and this is equals to 0 so now further uh, in the next step we need to convert this equation into the two cases so the first case is we take a minus 10 square minus 10 square equals to 0 and the second case is we take a minus 10 square plus 10 square equals to 0 we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2 so we will just uh, solve these two equations uh, one by one first we need to focus on equation number 1 so that from equation number 1 we have we first copy down this equation here it is a minus 10 square minus 10 square equals to 0 so here we again apply this nice uh, algebraic formula so according to this formula we will write this uh, equation as in this form so first we have a minus b so here our a is a minus 10 and b is 10 only so we have a minus b so our a is a minus 10 minus b is 10 and a is a minus 10 and plus b is 10 and this whole equation equals to 0 so here in the first factor you see that minus 10 minus 10 equals to minus 20 and this negative and positive term are gone and we get only a equals to 0 so here we again divide this into the two cases and we can write a minus 20 equals to 0 and a is equals to 0 so here we easily get the value of a equals to 20 and from this we get a equals to 0 so these are the two roots which we get here from equation number 1 and now similarly we need to move uh, equation number 2 so uh, from equation number 2 we will copy down equation number 2 here it is a minus 10 square plus 10 square equals to 0 uh, and now from uh, this case uh, we just expand this nice square identity it is written as a square plus 10 square minus 2 times of a into 10 and plus this is 10 square equals to 100 and this whole equals to 0 so we again rewrite this as a square plus uh, this 10 square equals to 100 minus 2 times of 10 becomes 20a and plus this is 100 equals to 0 and now you see here this equation will become quadratic in a variable but not into the standard form first we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have a square minus 20a and this is 100 plus 100 equals to 200 and this whole equation equals to 0. 
So we will solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital A equals to 1, capital B equals to minus 20 and capital C equals to 200. And we know about the quadratic formula. It is stated as minus B plus minus square root of B square minus 4 times of AC divided by 2 times of A. This is the our nice quadratic formula and we will substitute the values of A, B and C here. It will be written as A equals to minus B. The value of B is minus 20 plus minus square root of B square. B is minus 20 square minus 4 times of A is 1 and C is 200 and it is divided by 2 times of A. So here our A is also equals to 1. So here we need more simplifications and it will be written as A equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 20 and plus minus square root of this is minus 20 square uh, and we know that the square of minus uh, minus square equals to plus because we have the uh, if you have base is negative and its exponent is even number it will become positive and 20 square equals to 400 minus 4 times of 200 equals to 800 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So here we need more simplification and it will be written as 20 plus minus square root of 400 minus 800 equals to minus 400 and it is divided by 2. So here we need to just break the square root on both of these values and it will be written as 20 plus minus uh, and we write it as a square root of 400 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and now we can apply the square root of 400 and we know that square root of 400 equals to 20 and the square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So here we break this fraction and it will be written as 20 over 2 plus minus 20 over 2 into iota. So you see that this is 2 times 20 and 2 times 20. So we get our A equals to 10 plus minus 10 iota. These are the two complex roots of the given equation. And we have the four roots of the given equation are these are the two complex roots and a equals to 0 and 20. These are the two real roots. So these are the total four roots of the given equation. And this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.